Hello everyone, my name is Running Batman. Welcome back. Today we've got some more Modern Warfare 2 special ops. We're going to try out the Bomb Squad mission today. Let's hope it goes well. So when you start, you've got a little bit of a variety of weapons here. Nothing too keen or nothing too special, so I usually just try to pick up whatever is more comfortable for me. Usually the AA-12, and I'll go with something more lighter than heavy. So in this case, I pick up the P90. I will probably end up dropping the P90 for something that's a little more my play style, which is usually a, an assault rifle or something like that. Unfortunately, when you do pick them up off the enemies, they're usually a little low on ammo. So you usually want to get a couple of the same weapons, hopefully stack up on ammo that way. When you start, there are about three targets you got to get to to disarm right away in a short amount of time. I decided to go to the path on the right and sort of work my way through the rest of the little market there and try to get to the first bomb. I'm able to pick off a couple of guys here and there, but ultimately it's just mostly running around trying not to get shot or pinned down. Always watch your corners, uh, reload when you can, take cover. These are sort of situations in any sort of veteran difficulty game. At this point I end up picking up the fall for a little more accuracy and what I feel is better control with the weapon. I managed to get through quite a bit more guys and make my way to the bomb with, I would say, a little bit of ease. Not too difficult at this section here. Now when you're disarming the bomb, I don't believe you can move or turn or anything. You're just kind of stuck holding it. So make sure that you are not being under fire or, you know, you're not going to get in any bad situations. You definitely want to have that free space to move in case you are getting shot at. If you're doing this with a partner, then usually it's more typical to have one person cover you and have the other person go for the bomb. Decide to pull out the A12 and start sweeping away. There goes about one, two guys. The area seems to be relatively clear, but there's a couple guys who end up showing up, so I use a flashbang, get right in front of them, and hit them with the A12 again. Now that the area is clear, I go over for the defusal. Again, you can't move or you can't turn or anything, so please be careful when you're looking around and doing this. After the first bomb, I'm looking around, seeing that it's a pretty good spot to run, no enemies, so I'm pretty, you know, safe as far as getting shot at and whatnot, but still crouching around and, you know, being cautious when moving. I decided to cut through this alleyway here because I didn't think there would be a lot of resistance here. At this point we're about two and a half minutes until the game expires. I think later on, right at the corner on the left there, there's like one guy or he's way further down. So we have a lot of cover here and you got a lot more room. Now in this case, if you run out of time, then you lose. It's not a timer to see how long you go, it's a timer to see how long the bomb goes off. Again, when I see a car that's on fire, I shoot it because I'd hate to have it where I walk in and it blows up and, you know, kills me. So take cover as best as possible, especially in this street area. Usually there's a, at least like half a dozen guys in between the streets and up in the alleys and windows and stuff, so it's hard to get a vantage point. Decided to make my way out and go back through the car, but instead I get shot and I'm able to quickly duck behind the wall and take that guy out. Sticking with the fall, reload it, looking around to see who's there to shoot. And I don't think I really got anybody that time, but I'm able to move on up. Uh, shoot at a couple cars that are on fire. Kind of clear my own way. Gotta always make sure they're down there. <laughs> So that guy there, he's now down. I thought that was the way to get up, but I missed the doorway. As I was moving up, I'm pretty certain there's going to be a guy in front of me. thought that door is open, but in this case it wasn't. Peek around the corner to find that guy and take him out. The grenade lands and I move out of the way to get the defuse. Again, you can't move, you can't really aim, so you're stuck doing that. There was a flashbang that went off behind me, so I know there's a couple guys quickly turn over and get a few shots off and eliminate the last three guys. Now I've really got to hurry because I've only got about 40 seconds. Luckily with the MP5K, I am able to pretty much spray and pray and eliminate a lot of enemies with a short amount of time. 
about 30 seconds left, so I decide to rush on in. And there's no real good approach here, but I'm thinking I might as well just dash right for it. So I go for a grenade and a flash. When it's flashed, I take out one extra guy, another one on the right, one right by the bomb. Then I run on in to hopefully get it. I only had about 10 seconds, so I thought, well, this is either now or never. Five seconds left, defusing. And with only about a little less than a second left, I am able to successfully defuse the bomb and complete the veteran difficulty. Alright guys, my name is Running Batman. Thanks for joining me today.